Hello and welcome to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler and today we're going to be taking a look at information functions in Dax. Specifically the has one value function and the is in scope function. Now before we get started, I made a few minor changes to our data model that we've been working with thus far. So as you can see here, I've added a cucumber row to within our data model. And so now we have bananas, cucumber, grapefruit, and pickle. And I've also added this calculated column here called item color and this is from our last video where uh, I'm using the simple version of the switch statement so if the item is pickled and return green if it's cucumber return green grapefruit return orange red banana return yellow and if it's none of those it returns unknown so you can see that item color here alright so let's take a look at the measure that I created for this has one value and again uh, it's a very simple if statement which we covered in our last video and the logical condition for this if statement is if has one value table item column, then return one if true, or return zero if false. So as you can see in this table, which summarizes our rows, has one value that that measure returns one for all of our table rows, our table rows here, except for the total row. And you might be thinking, well, but you have multiple banana rows in your data model. That's true, but the table visual summarizes that. So for this row, there's really only one unique value for the item for the item column, and so has one value returns true. But for the total row, has values for banana, cucumber, grapefruit, and pickle, and so it returns zero because there isn't one, just one distinct value uh, for item in the in the total row. So we can see this a little bit better if we instead of using item to summarize, we use item color. So as you can see here, I'm using the same measure, and for the green row, it returns zero. And that's because there are two items, two unique items, that have the color green in our data model, and that's pickle and cucumber. Versus for orange red, there's only one grapefruit, and for yellow, again, there's only one banana. You can see here in our total row, it also returns zero, and that because, as I indicated, that has all of our item, pickle, banana, grapefruit, and cucumber. If you want to see how I constructed this measure here, This is the actual DAX behind it. So I'm using the concatenate x function. I feed the concatenate x function a summarize of the table by item, and then I return the item with commas between them. So that's how this measure got created. Okay, let's turn our attention to is in scope. So is in scope, according to the Microsoft documentation, returns if uh, if an item if the item you specify is at the level of the of a hierarchy then it returns one, otherwise it returns zero. So in this matrix visual, I actually have item color and then item as an ad hoc hierarchy. So as you can see here, my green, I have green for my item color, my green items are cucumber and pickle, my orange red, the only item is grapefruit, and for yellow, the only item is banana. So the is in scope, we're using it in a very similar manner to has one value. So is in scope, again, I have a simple if statement my condition, my logical condition, true or false, is is in scope table item, then return one, otherwise return zero. So if I use that in this case, is in scope, you can see that for my, since my rows where the item is in scope, or I'm at the level of the hierarchy where item, uh, where I have item, then the, this measure returns one, but like when I'm at item color hierarchy, it's zero, and in my total row, it's also zero. So we can get a little more granular with this. So is in scope two. So here I'm using that switch true statement and I have a, a logical condition. The first one is is in scope table item, then return one. Otherwise is in scope table item color, return two, otherwise return zero. And now in this case, you can see that my when I my item color is in, is in the hierarchy, it returns two. When the item is in the hierarchy, it returns one. And then the total row, it turns zero because we're not at the item color hierarchy level or the item level. We're in basically the context of everything in the table. Now, you have to be a little careful with when doing this uh, because it doesn't, the is and scope function doesn't work exactly like the DAX uh, documentation from Microsoft. So for example, if I, if I switch up my conditions where I say is and scope table item color return two, otherwise is in scope table item return one, otherwise return zero. You notice that we return all twos in these and then our, our total row return zero. So, and that is because the way that a switch true statement works 
Uh, we didn't we didn't really we covered this a little bit in the last video, but we'll go more in depth here. So the very first condition that, that evaluates the true, um, it stops processing of any of the other uh, conditions within the switch true statement. So in this case, is in scope table item color is returning true, whether we're at the item color lo level or the item level. So item color technically is in scope at the item level, along with table item. So a little bit different than the Microsoft documentation. So be careful with your ordering within any kind of switch true statement. Um, you have to structure it so that in this case, you would want to structure it so that the lowest level of your hierarchy is first, as we had in this version of the, of the measure, where we have the lowest level of our hierarchy item is the first statement. So we want to evaluate that and then build your conditions up through your hierarchy. Okay, let's take a look at the last, uh, one last example. So something else to keep in mind is that you really can't use um, is in scope for anything that's not really in your visual. So here I'm using is in scope table total cost, uh, return one, otherwise return zero. Um, total cost is not in this visual anywhere, and so all of the rows return zero. So that's all I had for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.